At the beginning, Joseph was just a patient with whom we did not really understand what was going on. It's only later that this man and this meeting became so important. It changed my life because of the Cadelsi story. <laughs> It is in 1976 that I saw a 50-year-old man who I didn't know at that time, but was going to be Joseph, the first Cadesil patient. Uh, the head of the department thought that this patient had been Swanger's disease. Well, maybe at that time I was a bit of a rebel. And uh, I said, well, no, this has not been Swanger's disease. I don't know what this patient has. In uh, 1986, his daughter uh, came to see me and uh, her brother came to and we could see that they had the, the same deep infarcts and white matter changes as their father. By that time I had met uh, Elisabeth uh, Tony Lasserf uh, and she said, what is this condition they have? And I said, well, I don't know, it's a family disease. I have no idea what it is, but it's a vascular disease. Uh, I met with uh, Marie-Germaine Bousset, I think this was in 1986. We had to first analyze a, huge, a large number of members of this family. In fact, we were able to identify 57 members of this family and realized that it was hereditary. I think the, the, the breakthrough in 1993 was a mapping of the gene on chromosome 19, and this provided a very useful biomarker. In 1991, I was introduced to uh, first to Elisabeth Onesser, and she was looking for someone to work on a completely new disease. After uh, identifying the gene uh, responsible for catesil, I realized that everything now has to be done. Identify the role of nurture, generate animal models, and better understand how mutations in this gene can cause this disease, and finally try to find a cure for this disease. I entered the, the Cadesil research probably in 1991 to search uh, for other potential cases outside the initial family. After this initial period when the gene of Cadesil was identified, I came back to uh, research in Cadesil because I was very um, interested in the imaging aspects and features of the disorder. My input with the description of the disease, I think, was helpful to uh, recognize later the disease. Ah, oh, is there anything left for the Cadesil research? Well, of course. I mean, the, the most important one is, is to find a treatment. This is really challenging. Uh, it's really not easy to, to, to develop a clinical trial. And, and my hope is to have new tools, new ways, um, to perform clinical trials in this disorder for testing uh, uh, innovative uh, treatments and drugs. I have invested so many years working on this disease. My best hope uh, would be to finish my career with uh, finding a cure for uh, Cadizin patients. I'm sure with uh, Andrew Tell's team, this goal is attainable. Once the treatment is there, Everything is good. <laughs>